quick, my friends, before we get this video started, Wrenchworks giveaway number 11 is actually going live tonight. We'll have another video up tomorrow on Friday, but technically it goes live tonight, Friday at 12 a.m. So while you should be sleeping, maybe you're on Marketplace, Wrenchworks website is gonna be updated and it's gonna go live and anything that's purchased on the website automatically gets you entered to win Wrenchworks giveaway number 11. It's sitting right in front of me, I'm staring at it. It is absolutely insane. You guys are going to love it. I know it. Uh, but go to the website if you guys are up or if you want to get in early. I uh, highly suggest you do so. But it is going live tonight. So that's your first reminder. Let's get this video started. But just know, Wrenchworks giveaway number 11 is live Friday first thing. Be prepared to have your minds just completely blown because I feel like I'm going to be speechless. So that means you should be speechless. But we are up in Elkhart, Indiana, uh, where Vintage Trailers is because we are going to take our first peek, our first look at our new massive race trailer. So if you guys have been following along, you know that our old 48-foot race trailer was a vintage, uh, which came from our buddy Lance at LB Trailers. Uh, so we have been working in the background for quite a while on our new race trailer with Lance. Uh, shameless plug for Lance. Uh, he has all types of race trailers, even uh, enclosed that aren't race trailers. But if you guys are like interested in a... Uh, enclosed trailer we'll put his website up but lb trailers uh, i believe.com is his website uh he is the man but we have been custom building ours with him but it is a vintage brand trailer same as our last one but it is quite a bit different it is quite a bit more detailed uh and we'll get into kind of like some of the designs but i believe where it's at is you know we've kind of nailed down our designs our floor plans all that stuff we've got that set and they have a frame built out and they are working on wiring so what we're doing while we're up here is just kind of making sure layout everything kind of makes sense as you're walking through the space in case we want to move anything do anything before the walls are closed but i i am i am so excited we have been race trailerless for quite a while, and I'm super pumped to get this thing. Uh, exact ETA, we're not exactly sure, but a lot of stuff is rolling in, and they're working on it, and it is going to be one epic beast. Definitely not even considerably close to being able to be towed with a pickup truck. So, you know what that means. So, Peterbilt action. Uh, I think this is like the thing that's been looming in the background. It's like, why, why aren't you ever towing anything with the Peterbilt? Well, it's been coming. And you guys are going to get your first peek today. Uh, we're probably going to see Todd. Uh, Todd's been helping us here at Vintage as well. Getting everything set, getting everything laid out. We've spent a lot of time on all these little details and layout wise and what we're going to put in it and how it's going to get uh, used and stuff. So it, it it seems like it's just a box with a ramp and wheels but really how it functions and how you're going to use it and building it with that in mind always gives a better result the more you plan ahead of time so michael and i have spent a ton of time doing that michael unfortunately cannot be with us today uh or he would be but it is his anniversary so you know go congratulate mr and mrs uh dova i'm just excited to see my bedroom <clears throat> your bedroom yeah We'll get into that. We'll get into that because I think we've we've talked about that in a lot of previous videos about how many people are coming this year, sleeping, vehicles and stuff, and it's just gotten to be it's gotten to be an animal. The toy hauler and the race trailer kind of go hand in hand with each other with encompassing all of the shenanigans that we get involved with. So that's it. No more talking. The electricity bill when this thing rolling down the road is gonna be quite high with how many lights I got on this thing. <laughs> Might have to up our service. All right. Can you guys guess what color it may be? There it is. That looks like just your style. Yeah. There it is. We're going to pick it up right now. Four pounds each. Here. 
I've got a dog. Looks oddly familiar. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we don't have this yet, though. Not enough trailer in that one. What's going on, man? Hey, hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? This is uh, Dawson, 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 Todd, Todd Dawson. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's definitely a little big. Definitely, so yeah, they got it uh, all wired yesterday and um, oh, okay, undercoated. So okay. Is it so? It it is actually pretty much wired. It's it's completely wired. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. We have a little bit of concern once that cabinet's sticking out here to be able to pull it with the forklifts. Oh, okay. So uh, we're gonna weld the the bracing on sticking out the front here, complete the trailer, and probably just pull it right up to the gate. Okay. And then. Set that cabinet and finish oh, okay. it where you can just back up to it and pull it out. Right, otherwise so like, you basically wouldn't be able to move it, right. so to say. Yep. Okay. The tri bowl to have sitting here, this is going to be underneath the loft. They painted that. So when you see the white along there, you're going to have this black cove anyway. Oh, so okay. Don't, don't yeah. be alarmed. That okay. It's going to be white up there. <laughs> There's going to be nice no white pinstripe. Yeah, right. <laughs> the electrician yesterday was like, <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> like, okay, this is definitely a little bit more than uh, than normal. You can do like a living quarters trailer and a race trailer in probably about three quarters of a day. Okay. And, and he had a an overtime day yesterday with just doing the one. Wow. <laughs> so basically what's going to happen, they're going to do all the wood. So the, the ceiling, the floor, the walls today. And then... Well, they'll probably stretch into tomorrow, but um, and then Friday or Monday, all the exterior metal will go on, wow. and then it goes across the street. Okay. And that's when the walls, the bathroom, you know, all the light fixtures, flooring, ceiling coat. It's almost like all the interior finishing. gets done. Okay. Happens over there. Then it actually comes back here to this building, and that's where everything will get you know, cleaned and sealed and um, inspected. Wow. Did the lifts did the lifts go in over there? Yes. Because it's it's okay. Yeah, every, everything's finished on the interior except for the final okay. cleaning and sealing. With it like this, are we able to get with the awning? Floor? They'll want to know the height from like were... the top of the door to the roof line, so that when your doors open up, you're not mm -hmm. in any of your braces. See how many marker lights we have? They're like they're like every two or three feet. All of them. All, all of them. them. You will you're gonna see this thing from from Mars. You you hit the drop down menu and you said. Quantity, oh, I quantity, made the quantity. drop. I made the drop down. Menu. Wow, you are the drop down. I am the drop down. <laughs> like, it's just no, no head issues at all. This is even taller than I thought. Dawson and Cole get to stretch out a bit over here. <sighs> man, even that's more room than I thought. Even just looking at it from down there, you're like, oh man, that, that could you could bring that down a little bit more. But you're like. A ton think, of room, actually. I don't think you actually need it. Yeah, I mean, like, I'd rather have you'd rather have it down there. Like, that's just storage. Roof access? You get to go on the roof? It's bigger than I thought, and I knew it was going to be big. That's what she said. <laughs> that's not what she said. Well, it's, it's crazy because every expo we go to, we walk up in these and we're like, oh, dude, could you imagine? And it's like, oh, dude. You ready to pull this in your driveway? What about that apron though? Drives are, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> easy on the driveway. Easy on the driveway talk, okay? I know you talk about the ones that you guys built for you guys racing, but like, besides those, like how many more of these? No, we don't let everybody else be that much of a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say probably 12. Okay. You know, we've done a couple for Frank Hawley's drag racing school. Oh, okay. He's got one, um, you know, we've only built one for ourselves that was, uh, semi like this but it had a lift gate yeah okay and then um there's probably been eight to ten other ones okay Super this expensive. elaborate not necessarily yeah you know but this size yes yeah. yeah that's right the size yeah very spacious in here it is it is spacious for now but when it gets finished and closed in you start putting stuff in it 
Yeah. It, it won't be. Yeah, once there's a bathroom there. Cabinets right there, the fridge. Mm -hmm. like you can see how much bigger the generator opening is on this one compared to my one. Yeah. Because this is a 10K diesel one. So what's, the, what's the other one? 7K gas. So this whole like rig setup will be diesel. Like you can pump. I'm, I'm gonna have it set up so the front compartment has gonna have like I'm gonna mount like an air dog in there. You'll be able to pump from the truck back into here if you're on low here. There's a steel plate welded right here, a couple studs in it. Right. So a winch will be mounted to that okay. with a synthetic rope. Okay. And then you'll have a key switch right here. So you could turn the switch on and off with the key. Okay. And then just lower the door or raise the door. Did you see the rear wing? No race trailer is complete without without the wing. Doubled up one by threes here where the lift gets mounted. Oh, okay. And okay. then right below it here in the floor, there's a quarter inch thick steel plate. So the pads actually sit on, on, on a solid quarter inch and thick steel plate. And do they span plate. the frame underneath, I guess? The plate does. Okay. Right. So you're sitting on basically two frames and then the walls are. I was actually going to, I was wondering why they were thicker in. Yep, okay. So makes sense. You can see this is the front of the rear lift. And this would be the back of the front lift, mm -hmm. and then when they're doubled up there, that's the front of it. Uh, on the 10k generators, do they try and like breathe the same as the gas ones as far as like you cut the bottoms out of them? Like, okay, except for it's also liquid cool, I believe. And oh, is it, it? It still has the air intake and your oil filter and fuel filter, everything's accessed through the bottom. Okay, generator obviously sitting here. This next cavity is all the way across where the fuel tank will be. Okay, yep. And so there'll be a, a hole cut in the floor here where okay. your filler neck will come through the floor okay. to fill the tank. And then you'll have your fuel line that's drilled through that divider cabinet wall. So that's where you're talking about. Just you basically we'll go right through there. Right through there. Right. Yep. Okay. And you'll have a, in the face of the cabinet there, you'll have an access door. The access you're sending you on top of the tank. And so it'll be it'll be easy just to pop something in there yeah, and go the right into there. Okay, okay. Just make sure you seal it up well so you don't get any fumes into the trailer. That's the size of a 10? Wow. Man, that is huge compared to the other one. Wow. Double. Walk towards the back over here, and that's where they're going to bring your trailer next, so maybe they put them back here. Yeah, so this must be the 16. That's probably the center section, the 14 center oh, section for yeah. the 16. And then uh, the 10 foot and 120 inch. Don't need to see much, but they are black. That's, they that's are black. The, that's the support thing, right? That's, that's, that's it. <laughs> They're not red, blue, yellow, or anything else. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're back in the truck. Huge thanks to Todd for walking us around, letting us see everything and kind of spending the time to kind of go over everything with us again in person. Um, I didn't want to like take up too much of his day. He's an important dude. Obviously, he doesn't have all day to hang out with us. I honestly would probably sit in a lawn chair back there and watch. Uh, watch I'd, I'd probably help. But like, it's just <laughs> like I could stare at that thing like all day long. I'm probably gonna look at the pictures and the videos all day long. But anyway, uh, I wanna go over this with you. I got. I kinda wanna do like a one-on-one -on -one with you guys. So I think when we kinda land and I can go over some of the cool details on the trailer, um, we'll do that in a little bit here. So stay tuned. We're gonna get back on the road to continue our mecha trek across the uh, country. But insane, like just absolutely insane i don't even know if the camera does that thing any justice like it's huge. Uh, it, it is it is every bit of 53 feet of pure awesomeness and it's not even black yet michael greg uh you're on uh you're on youtube did you leave the trailer place yet we just left how was it it is 10 million times better than I ever would have thought in person. Like it is, yeah, I, it is. I didn't, get a, I didn't get a phone call and I was like, hmm, really good or really bad. It is nasty, nasty. Dude. Are they excited about it? Oh yeah, the lifts are there, generators there. Um, like they were boarding up the inside walls as we were walking out. So, wiring is done. Oh, you're trying not to say. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! We're cutting that. We're Whoa! Cutting that. It looks like a jungle gym. You got so much room in there right now. Like, it's, it is awesome. I'm on cloud nine. Like, it, it should be. It's a bad mother. Did you get another beer? 
Vanderbilt yet. Alright my friends, well we have made it back from our trip uh, from Vintage on the race trailer. Uh, so we've got we've got our entire build sheet here and our layout, but Michael couldn't be with us. So I was like, you know what? Michael's here now. So maybe maybe we go talk to him and close this video out with him. Michael, hello sir. Well we know you we, we know you couldn't be with us for the for the race trailer. Oh man, they haven't seen this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Anyway, here you go. Here's 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 what the race trailer looks like. There you go. You can you can you can you can see. You've already seen all this stuff. But we're closing out the video here, and I told them that we would do a little one-on-one -on -one action. Probably just skip to that last page there. So I don't think we've talked about it on the video, but the entire plan for the new race trailer was to be able to haul. A plethora of many combinations. It, we always do as multi-use as possible. So the plan was and is to be able to haul the dragster and my Pro Street truck and everything. Oh my, did, I just, did, did they just see that? Oh my gosh, we might have to blur that one out. I'm not ready to show that one. Uh, but the trailer has two lifts in it it's got one big long one right here and one short one up here so we can put the smart car up on the small one the dragster can go underneath and we have just enough room with all of that extra height with how low this thing should be that we can do both with everything that we need it still has a bathroom still has a lounge area it's basically an insanely massive version of the previous trailer with lifts. Now, if we want to tow the 05 or stuff, other things, uh, the lifts can go all the way down and we can still use it as basically a flat uh, surface with no lifts up at all. So that's how we're kind of dual purposing it. But the video is already kind of long, so we're not gonna get real crazy because those guys are pushing pretty hard to kind of get this thing, get this thing knocked out. So we're gonna. Have you shown him it? Well, you, show, you showed him the trailer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, everybody's seen it besides you, buddy. Yeah, that, that's that's sad. We're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna surprise you. The, you're, you're in charge of getting in the driveway. Maybe the only thing is <clears throat> maybe the only thing missed was the weight restrictions of these lifts, like lifting the O5 in this. That's why you just drive it on and park on it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they got they got supports in the floor and all that stuff, is which you kind of hear, heard Todd say, but the 05 and normal trucks are still insanely heavy to put up in the air going down the road. Because this just looks like a little Etch-a-Sketch drawing because it should be done hopefully soon and all this stuff will make a lot of sense, but there there's a lot of lights there's a lot of power there's 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 a lot of everything in in that in that thing my right, friends that is pretty much going to wrap up this video uh new update on the new race trailer i'm smiling ear to ear uh i cannot wait i am super excited to get that thing uh super thankful for the guys at vintage super thankful for lance at lb trailers for kind of getting us set up and hi reagan I'm closing out a video, dear. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> uh, anyway, super thankful for uh, Vintage, super thankful for uh, Lance at LB Trailers. Again, if you guys need uh, any type of trailer, hit up Lance. Uh, he is the man, he is the one to go to for that. Uh, but just a huge thank you for all of the support over the years, guys. It seems like it's been a very long time coming of kind of dreaming of a trailer like that, a setup like that, uh, being able to uh, do that with selling our old one and, and everything in between. But it comes with a lot of support from you guys and a lot of other people and uh, a lot of hard work and keeping your eye on the uh, the end goal. I'm thankful uh, that we are able to do something like that, put all the race team kind of together and haul it all um, in, in something like that. So over, over the top thankful. I'm going to repeat myself over and over again, but huge thank you to you guys for all the support. It means the world to, to me and to us and uh, 
I, I hope we can get that thing very, very soon. Obviously, there is an event that is coming up very, very soon. Uh, we will see. We will see. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure you guys get entered in Wrenchworks giveaway number 11 going on right at the end of, well, I, it's, it's live Friday morning first thing Friday so probably in a couple hours from this from the when this video goes up or when you watch this video later it'll be up now but get entered to Wrenchworks giveaway number 11 we'll see you guys in the next video very very soon going over what Wrenchworks giveaway number 11 is you guys are gonna love it we'll see you guys in the next video see ya